Hello and welcome to another Beardy David Vlogmas video and welcome to the first quiz of Vlogmas. Now today is all about movies so if you happen to have watched my uh, top 10 Christmas movies video then you might have a bit of help here so if you haven't maybe go back and quickly watch that and then come back and give the quiz a go because you might get a few little bit of tips. So how the quiz is going to work there are four rounds there are 30 questions in total so the rounds are General Christmas movie questions. You've got uh, Behind the Beard, Who's Santa, and Face Swap. Now, the last three rounds are all picture rounds because you don't want to hear me blabbering on. I just want to get on with it and just do the quiz and then I'll come back and do the answers. Okay, so grab a pen, grab a paper, grab uh, maybe a drink, maybe some snacks off of your Christmas sweets table if you've got one by now. Uh, hopefully you have. I've been tucking into mine a little bit, but I'm trying to be good and not eat it all straight away. So uh, yeah, let's kick off straight away with round one. So question one is, It's a Wonderful Life takes place in which fictional town? It's a Wonderful Life takes place in which fictional town? I'll just give you a few seconds to think. Sorry if you're thinking about the answer right now, but if you want to pause, pause and have a little think about the answer and then come back and carry on. There's no like major time limit. Question number two, what is wrong with the Grinch's heart in How the Grinch Stole Christmas? What is wrong with the Grinch's heart in How the Grinch Stole Christmas? I saw the animated version for the first time on Netflix the other day. It's very, very good. It's awesome. It's brilliant. I've not seen the Jim Carrey one. Question number three, in Jingle All The Way, what is the name of the toy that is so hard to buy? In Jingle All The Way, what is the name of the toy that is so hard to buy? Give you a little clue. Question number four. Mortimer and Randolph had a bet on the lives of Louie and Billy Ray in Trading Places. How big was that bet? So, you know, so what was the bet? Mortimer and Randolph had a bet on the lives of Louis and Billy Ray in Trading Places. How much was the bet for? That's a great film. Like people question that with, along with like Die Hard is, is, are they Christmas films? But Trading Places definitely is. And uh, the final question of this round, question number five, Christmas with the Cranks is based on a book. What is the name of the book? Christmas with the Cranks is based on a book. What is the name of the book? There we go, that's the end of round one. Now, the next three rounds, they're all picture-based rounds. So I'm just going to explain to you the round, then I'll just show you the video of all, the, all of the clips. They're all numbered, so then you just have to uh, just have to write down the answers. You're more than welcome to pause it and have a little think about uh, think about the answers to each one, and then uh, and then we'll go straight into the answers. So round two is called Behind the Beard. Nice and easy. Uh, one of the characters is going to have a Christmas hat on and a Chris and a Father Christmas beard. All you've got to do is name the film, not name the character. That's way too hard. So just name the film. And there are ten of these. Good luck. Awesome, I hope you all done pretty well in that. I, I think it was relatively, I mean, it's always, it's always easy when you know the answer. 
but uh, but hopefully you all done pretty good in that one. Now round three is called Who's Santa? Now loads, loads of actors have played Father Christmas over the years and I have picked five. I would like for you to tell me the actor who has played them, not the, you know, not the character because the character is Santa. So I'd like you to tell me the actor who plays Santa in these next five pictures. Good luck. Don't they all look lovely and santery? Is that a word? Maybe not, but it is now. Yeah, I, I, I think they are all very much worthy of being called Santa. I think they're excellent. And uh, I, I would like to play Santa in a film one day. I think I'd be pretty good. I've definitely got the, uh, I've definitely got the frame for it. <laughs> and uh, and so the final round of the quiz is called Face Swap. I bought it back. I bought it back. So. I have taken this lovely face and I placed it on some uh, on some famous movie clips. Um, not moving, obviously. I'm not that much talented in the editing department. They're just stills. Uh, so there's ten of these. So all you've got to do again is name the film. You might get a few repeat of films in here. So don't don't be alarmed if you think, oh god, I've already written that one down because I, I wanted to make it all pretty like uh, recognisable film. So you've all got a fighting chance. So good luck and enjoy looking at my beautiful face. So there we go, there we have it. That is the end of the Christmas movie quiz. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed some of the pictures. I liked it, the picture rounds. I think they're good fun. Like, uh, they're not the best quality, but I think that adds adds to the, uh, the heart and the fun of it. So, should we go straight into the answers and see how you get on? So good luck everyone, and, uh, and be sure to let me know your scores below once, uh, once you get the total. So, the answers to round one, the general Christmas movie questions. Question one, It's a Wonderful Life takes place in which fictional town? That was Bedford Falls. Bedford Falls, everyone. Uh, question number two, what is wrong with the Grinch's heart in How the Grinch Stole Christmas? It's two sizes too small. Bless him, poor old Grinch. Question number three, in Jingle All The Way, what is the name of the toy that is so hard to buy? It's Turbo Man. Uh, of course it is. Question number four. Mortimer and Randolph had a bet on the lives of Louis and Billy Ray in Trading Places. How much was the bet? It was a mere one dollar. That's all it was. And, uh, and they, they made hell for the lives of Louis and Billy Ray, but they did get their own back. Great film, by the way. You should give it a try if you've not seen it. And uh, the final question. Christmas with the Cranks is based on a book. What is the name of the book? The name of the book is Skipping Christmas. If anybody's read the book, uh, is it worth reading? Um, I, may, I, I won't be reading it this year, but maybe I might add it to the list for next year if it's any good. Yeah, please let me know down below. So round two is Behind the Beard. So let's have a look at who was Behind the Beard. So in number one, it was of course, Clark Griswold in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. You only need a National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, not Clark Griswold, that's fine. And then in number two, Jingle all the way, poor old Arnie. 
having a terrible time there, isn't he? Uh, question number three was Elf. Question number four was the classic Christmas movie, and it is a Christmas movie, Die Hard. Question number five is The Holiday. That's Mr. Napkin Head there. Everyone loves Mr. Napkin Head. Question number six, a bit tougher. That was White Christmas. Lauren and I watched that for the first time last year. It was a lovely film, it was good, nice and Christmassy. Question number seven is Love Actually. There he is, naughty Alan Rickman in that film. Uh, question number eight is Miracle on 34th Street. I'll be impressed if you got that one because that wasn't an easy one. Question number nine is Four Christmases. That's a uh, that's a crazy, crazy funny movie. I like that. John Favreau's in that, and I love John Favreau. And question number ten was This Christmas. That was probably the toughest one. So if you got that, well done. Well done. You deserve an extra pat on the back for getting that question right. Round number three, who's Santa? Now, number one was Billy Bob Thornton. That's from Bad Santa. I hate that film. Did not find it funny in the slightest. Um, number two was Jim Broadbent. That was from Get Santa. Have you seen that once? That was a pretty. That was an okay British Christmas film. I'd like to watch that again, and uh, because it's been a few years since I've watched that, but he was a very good uh, Santa. Number three was Kurt Russell from the Christmas Chronicles. Love the first one. I've heard not great things about the second one. Question number four is Richard Attenborough. Great, he is a lovely, lovely Santa from, of course, Miracle on 34th Street. And number five was Tim Allen from the Santa Claus. There we go, so that was round number three. So let's go into the final round, which is, of course, face swap and my face, which is lovely. I think you'll all agree. So, uh, face swap number one was A Bad Mum's Christmas. Face swap number two was from Let It Snow. Face swap number three was from The Night Before. Face swap number four, Gremlins. Face swap number five, Nativity. Face swap number six, Krampus, scary Krampus. Face swap number seven was Santa Claus the movie. If you just got Santa Claus, I'll give you that. It's Christmas after all. Face swap number eight was from Home Alone 2. Face swap number nine was Scrooged. I've never seen Scrooged. I need to watch that this year, don't I? I've heard very good things. Good old Bill Murray. And face swap number 10 was Last Christmas. Bam, there we go. That's the Christmas quiz done and complete. I hope you all done very well as i said before please let me know how you got on down below i've got a couple more quizzes coming up over the rest of vlogmas i believe the next one is all about music so uh maybe get on uh heart christmas and uh and the old spotify christmas playlist and uh and start getting associated with it although you probably know a load of them already don't you and uh so yeah that's it from me and until the next vlogmas video thank you for watching and goodbye